Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I was thinking today about what I could film and after going to Ulta and doing a major haul for an upcoming video this week, I thought to myself, why do we keep buying makeup? Like what is it that drives us to keep trying new things, to keep trying to find the best of the best? At least for me personally, I really enjoy the formulas and the colors. Makeup is fun. It's a way to express yourself. But then I was like, but why? There's gotta be something deeper than that. And I was thinking, ultimately makeup gives me confidence. It's not the thing that I rely on for confidence, but it for sure amplifies my confidence and makes me feel like I can do so many things. I don't know if that sounds crazy, but that's why I love makeup because I love to put it on and I love the way it makes me feel. And I know that you guys probably feel the same. I've seen other women in my life completely transform when they have a beautiful makeup look on or a makeup look that they feel beautiful in. It transforms their confidence. And so for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial based off of this whole idea, just based off of makeup that makes me confident. And throughout the video, I'll explain to you why exactly this type of makeup makes me feel so beautiful and so confident. It's not gonna be so much about the products themselves as it is the vibe. However, I do have products here that I am confident in, if that makes sense. I know that these products will last all day and I always go back to them time and time again. But then there's also some new products that I got recently that I want to try out in this video. So I hope you guys are excited. Here is the before and after so you can see the look that we're going to be creating today. So let's just get right into the tutorial. I already did my brows off camera. I used the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and I really worked on this inner portion here because when it comes to brows, I love brows on myself that look natural and a little bit feathery. So I spent a little more time on my brows today for this video and I also used the Benefit High Brow for underneath the brows. I like to put this on just underneath the arch and then I take a small brush this one is the Morphe M124 brush, and I use that to really blend it out underneath the entire brow, and that's what gives me this kind of look, and then I pat the rest down with my finger. So that's all I have on the brows. Let's move on to the eyes first. There's a couple makeup looks that make me feel the most confident. The first one is having it focused on the eyes. My eyes are my personal favorite feature of mine, so I do like to play up my eyes a lot. I feel the most confident in a really beautiful, glisteny kind of glamorous, smoky but natural eye makeup look. So that's what we're gonna be creating today. I'm gonna go ahead and prep the eyes first with some concealer. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. I'm just gonna dab a little bit of that onto my eyelids and then buff it out all over the lid. This is a fun brush. This is the Morphe M173 brush and it's perfect for buffing out the eyelid concealer. It's a great little size. So I'm just going to buff it out all over the eyelid, making sure to kind of get into this inner corner here because that's where I get some blueness and discoloration. So I like to make sure that I have some concealer in that area. I'm gonna go ahead and set the lids with the Thrive Cosmetics Translucent Setting Powder and then we are all ready to go for eyeshadow and for today I want to use the Through My Eyes palette from ColourPop and I Love Zeri. I recently tried this out in a video and I've been using it so much since I filmed that. So I wanted to use it again. I feel like I can create a really nice kind of bronzy eye with this palette. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start off with Sandalwood which is this shade right here. I've loved this as a transition shade on me and I'm just going to start to work that in the crease as our transition. As always you guys, I really hope that my videos inspire you more than anything. Like, of course, I'm going to come to you and try to teach you everything that I know about makeup so that you can go out and feel confident with application and techniques and all of that. But ultimately, you know what you love the most and you know what looks best on your face. You know what products work best for you. And so I hope that you guys just take inspiration from my videos because ultimately, the thing that I love most about makeup, besides the formula and the colors and how fun it is, is the fact that it makes me feel beautiful and and confident and everybody is different in that way and I feel like it's something that evolves over time for example I used to feel the most confident with a very full coverage matte foundation about six months ago before my skin started to improve because that was the thing that I really struggled with to be honest and although I was still able to be confident even when I had acne I mean I still do like my skin's not perfect yet but it's a journey but even though I was confident in a lot of ways a full coverage foundation really brought me out of my shell and really really made me feel comfortable going outside and I didn't have to worry about people staring at redness. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not even that big of a deal and most people don't notice as much as you do, but that's a huge reason why I got into makeup. I felt like I was able to be more like myself. So now we're gonna dip into 
Canela right here. And I'm just gonna use that same brush actually. And I'm gonna start to press that on the outer part of the eyelid. And then I'm gonna try to work it into the crease a little bit. I do want this to be our crease color. So I'm gonna start to build that up in the crease. Like I said before, I don't think that makeup should be the source that you rely on for your confidence, but would you guys agree with me by saying that it is a source of confidence for you? I wanna know, comment that down below. Is makeup a source of confidence for you? Is it an escape for you like it is for me? Let me know, we should start a little discussion down below. I just realized, didn't I say that I had two different looks that give me confidence and I don't think I told you the second one. The first look is eyes that are mesmerizing. I love that. The second look is a bold lip. If I don't have as much time to do like a full on eye look, I love to put a bold lipstick on. For me, I feel so confident and beautiful with a bold lip. I know everyone's different. Some people don't like the attention that it draws maybe, but I personally just feel really awesome in a bold lip. And it's not even for the attention. Like I could care less who looks at my lip color, but it just makes me feel really pretty. Speaking of mesmerizing, we're gonna go into Mesmerize, which is perfect for this look. It's a more glitter formula. So I'm gonna take it with my finger and just apply it to the lid. Honestly, you can't go wrong with a nice golden eye look. That color is so good. I'm gonna go back into Canela and just kind of add a little more to that outer corner. I want it to be slightly deeper. So I'm just layering a little more out on that outer corner. So like I said before, I love a good sparkly eye look. I feel so stunning in a sparkly eye. So I thought I would add a little more glitter and it's been a while since I've used this. This is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow and I have mine in the shade Kitten Karma. Isn't it pretty? I'm excited to add this on top. And I'm just gonna kind of add a little bit of this over top of the existing shadows. And I'm gonna go back and forth between applying some and pressing it on the lid because I don't want a super, super glittery eyelid. Well, yes I do, but not like all of it to be this color. I still want the gold underneath to kind of shine through. So that's why I'm doing it in little tiny layers, but I am applying it right over top of the gold all over the lid. I need to buy more of these. I only have this one shade. Do you guys like these? Do you own any? If so, do you own any other colors? I would love to pick up more. So tell me what colors I should buy if you guys have a favorite. I love how glittery my eyes look right now. We're gonna go ahead and clean up the fallout underneath the eyes. There's a little bit of glitter, so I'm gonna try to get most of that away. All right, I'm gonna go into mascara. I feel the most confident in a voluminous mascara. I love a good, bold lash. You guys probably already know that. Here I am telling you again. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara, and I'm gonna do about two to three coats on my lashes. That way I get the most impact, I guess. There's seriously nothing I love more than a sparkly eyelid with a bold lash. Mm -hmm. What do you guys look for in an eye look? Is it something similar? Do you prefer a more natural lash with matte shadows? Let me know. <laughs> Did you guys notice I wore my hair down today? Are you proud of me? All right, let's move on to complexion. I have a couple products that I'm excited to try, but first, the kind of makeup that I'm into on my face has been really like, mm, I don't wanna say natural. Okay, what's, well, yes. I want people to see my skin and say, wow, your skin looks great, even when I'm wearing makeup. Do you know what I mean? And I've been into really luminous, more lightweight foundations and then I spot conceal where I need to and I let my skin show through where it can. That's just what I'm into, so that's what we're gonna do today. I recently got this in PR. This is the MAC Strobe Cream and it's in the shade Pink Light, which I think is a new shade. I've never used this personally. I've seen people like Desi Perkins use the Strobe Cream and I've always been intrigued by it, but I've never used it. So I'm gonna put this on my face today. We'll see how it works. I normally use just like a illuminating primer. I love the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I love the one from Physicians Formula. Um, there's a lot of glowy lotions out there as well. Glotions from L'Oreal as well. So anything like that will give a similar effect. I'm just interested in trying this one today. So I just have that on the back of my hand and I'm taking it on a brush and huh, okay. I'm just gonna apply this to the entire face, I guess. I'm gonna put my hair behind my ears really quick. So 
Now that we have it mostly distributed with the brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out with my fingers a little bit. It gave a hydrated glow to my skin, which I really like. There's no obvious glitter in it. It just kind of gave the skin a bit of a luminosity, which I like. So, so far so good. For foundation, I was trying to choose between two. One would have been the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation, but I've talked about that so much recently and I've used it in a lot of tutorials. So I thought I would use the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation, which is a foundation that I am loving equally right now. So we're gonna use this one today and I'm gonna go ahead and draw some stripes on the skin. Oh no, we got some in the hair. This is why I wear my hair up, to avoid messes like that. I'm obsessed with this. It's the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. It came in a set. I haven't been able to find it individually. I don't know, maybe it is for sale individually, but and I've been really loving it to buff out my foundation. So I'm gonna buff out my foundation with the buffing brush. This foundation is so good. I love the coverage that it gives and it still lets my skin look like skin, which I really love. And even though it's a more dewy kind of finish, it really does last a very long time on my skin, which I appreciate because just like anything else, if something's reliable, you can have confidence in it. So when I wear this foundation, I'm confident that it's gonna wear the way that I want it to and need it to. And I don't go throughout my day like wondering if my foundation still looks good or not, you know? That's important to me. I'm gonna go ahead and take some foundation and just kind of put it on the sponge so that I can go ahead and go over the makeup to add a more skin-like finish with the sponge. I love using a sponge after a brush. That just provides the best finish in my opinion. Oh man, I was trying not to do that. I'm gonna bring it down the neck, trying not to hit my sweater. I wanted to get kind of close up to the camera so you can see the finish of that foundation. I feel like it makes my skin look really nice. It covers up all the redness that I need to be covered, but it doesn't like cake up on my skin, you know? All right, let's go ahead and conceal the under eye area. I'm gonna go right back into my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. This is my current favorite concealer. I'm gonna put about that much underneath the eye. The thing I like about this concealer is even if I accidentally go overboard with application under the eye. When I blend it out with a sponge, it never, ever, ever looks like I put too much on. It never creases underneath my eye. It never makes my eyes feel dry. I'm obsessed with it. The formula is just so good. I just feel like it smooths everything out as well. All right, now we're gonna go back into my Thrive Cosmetics translucent powder and I want to set the under eyes with this. I'm gonna use a smaller brush first for the under eye area. Oh yes, I love how this looks underneath the eyes. I kind of took a little break from this powder for a minute. Not on purpose, I just was trying other powders and going back to some of my other favorites as well, but now that I'm wearing it again, I don't know if I'll be able to take another break. It looks so good under the eyes. I love this stuff. All right, I'm taking a bigger brush and pressing the powder over the rest of the face. I like to set my entire face. Some people don't. I do because I do have discoloration and I wanna make sure that my foundation stays on. That's important to me for my overall confidence. See what I did there? No, but seriously, I do love to set the entire face because I don't want my complexion products to fade throughout the day. That's what I need to last the longest. So I realized that I forgot to bring over a luminous finishing powder, but I do have this one sitting on my vanity right now. It's from Hourglass. It's the Ambient Lighting Palette. This is not a cheap product. I think it was around like 60 bucks when I bought it, which was crazy, but I bought it because I heard so many good things about it. I liked how there was a palette where I could try several colors and I really do get quite a bit of use out of this. I take my brush and just kind of run it through the three and then I will press it on my skin and then buff it over top after I have already set the face, just like I did here. I've also really been loving the Laura Mercier Candle Lip Powder. It's not a palette, it's just one powder, but it does do a very similar thing to the skin. And I recently tried out one from Milani that does a very similar thing to the skin. So I've been enjoying all of those. But I like being able to add back in a radiance over top of setting powder. I've been really loving doing that step recently. Okay, we're going back into the ColourPop palette and I'm gonna take Sandalwood and I'm going to drag that across the lower lash line. I've been using this shade all over the lid and then underneath the lower lash line. If I'm running out the door and I'm just in a rush, it's such a good, really natural matte shade and it's foolproof. 
but it also works as a transition shade when you're doing something a little bit more glamorous or dramatic. It's such a good color. I'm taking that same brush and I'm dipping into Canela. Oh, this one. It has a lot of glitter in the pan, but then once you apply it, I don't think the glitter really shows up, at least not on me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that and run it across the lower lash line, focusing it on the outer third and connecting it to the existing eyeshadows here. I'm gonna take my pinky and dip into Mesmerize and very carefully apply it to the inner third of the lower lash line to add some of that glitz to the lower lash line. I love this shade, it's so good. And then I'm gonna take the Stila Glitter Eyeshadow and I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful on the lower lash line to not overdo it, but I'm going to kind of dab this on that inner half or inner third of the eye because I want it to look the same as what we have going on on the top lid. Something like that, and then I'm actually going to take a little bit of that and I'm going to apply it in the inner corner of the eye. It looks a little intense right now out of the applicator, but I'm going to take my finger and press it out a little bit so that we're left with just the glitter instead of like the pink pigment underneath. All right, and then let's apply a mascara to the lower lashes. I'm taking the exact same mascara. We're just gonna apply it to the lower lashes. I like a little bit of a voluminous lower lash as well, and that's what I'm gonna do for this look. This is the part of makeup where you start to look a little crazy. <laughs> so I'm gonna wipe off the foundation that we have on the lips. That made me look better already. And let's add some warmth back into the skin. I'm gonna go into my Thrive Cosmetics Sun Chaser Bronzer. This is the matte one, so it's in the shade Rhea. And let's go ahead and warm up the complexion with this. I don't really do a full on contour very much. I just take one shade and kind of bronze and sculpt all at the same time. And I feel like this bronzer shade is so good for that as well as the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Both of those bronzers for me sculpt the face and bronze it at the same time, which is what I prefer in a bronzer. I'm gonna make sure to really get the hairline. I love to make my forehead pretty bronze. Go along the jawline as well and down the neck trying not to get it on my sweater. I'm also gonna take what's left on the brush and run it down the sides of my nose, underneath the nose, and under the lip. And then I always like to take the brush that we used with the finishing powder and translucent powder, and I just buff over the bronzer just to make sure that the edges really blend into the complexion. I feel like this is such a useful tip if you have a hard time blending out your bronzer. Try this out, it really works for me and I do it every single day. Just so that you can't like see the bronzer, you just see the complexion looking bronzed, you know? For blush, I feel like this is gonna match perfectly. It's the Burt's Bees blush in the shade Bare Peach. I recently picked this up and I'm very happy I did because it is so beautiful. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and smile and add it to the apples of my cheeks. I like to build it up. Doesn't that look pretty with the eyes? I thought so. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, like a little bit of a glow, which I really like in a blush. See that? That all came from the blush. Isn't that pretty? For highlighter. This highlighter makes me feel so pretty. Well, there's a couple that I love. One is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter, but I use that in like every tutorial, so I thought I would use the other highlighter that I use quite a bit. It's the Benefit What's Up Highlight. This is a cream to powder highlighter. It works so well over powders, and it makes me feel so beautiful. I love it. I always take the back of my sponge and just go directly onto the product like this. And then once I feel like I have a pretty good amount, I will just take it and really lightly start to build it up on my skin. I don't press very intensely. I just build it up really lightly and that will give you the most beautiful glow of your life. And I go around the brow and on the high points of the face. So I really do focus it on this C shape right here. The thing about this highlighter as well is it looks so beautiful throughout the day. It looks dewy upon application, but when you wear it throughout the day, oh, it just gets better and better. I like to take a little bit of that and also apply it down the center of the nose, just a little bit. And I do also apply it to the cupid blow. <laughs> trying to talk while putting a sponge over my mouth. I love it. I think it makes your skin look youthful. It's so stunning, I'm obsessed. I need to wipe off my lips again. So when I'm playing up my eyes, I feel best in a nude lip and I typically like to overline my lips a little bit and just like make them look so delicious and nude. 
So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use this lip liner, it's from CoverGirl. It's the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lip Liner in the shade Caramel Nude. And I'm gonna line the lips with this and I'm gonna overline them just a little bit, mostly on the top lip. And then, you guys, I'm in love with this. It's the Disney Designer Collection from ColourPop and this is the Ariel box. My husband Tylan got this for me for Christmas because Ariel's my favorite princess and I really wanted the nude lipstick and the gloss. It also comes with this, which I actually wore the other day and it looked really fun on the lids with just a mascara, but I am in love with this lip combo you guys it's So good. I'm gonna use the Ariel lipstick which these are back in stock you guys I thought that I would never be able to try it But you can buy the lipsticks individually as well as those collections So I'm just gonna apply this on top. I believe this is the color pop Lux lipstick formula That formula is really good by the way I just like to pat it in with my finger a little bit then I'm gonna take this lip gloss and I think you can only get the gloss in this set, but any nude lip gloss would work if you're recreating this look Or you could buy the set either one, but this gloss looks amazing on top of this lip color So I am going to add it. It's in the shade guppy. I'm just gonna add that right on top. See it's so pretty Oh, tell me that's not a gorgeous nude lip combo. I love it now It's time to step back and assess the situation. We're looking pretty good. I want a little more bronzer and I think maybe a tiny bit of blush. What's new? I'm always adding more bronzer at the end, but I feel like it's better to do that than to go overboard initially because it's so much harder to remove bronzer than it is to add more. There we go. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more blush because I like blush. So I'm just adding it on like the fattest parts of the cheeks right here, also known as the apples of the cheeks. Wonderful. Okay, I also recently got sent the MAC Fix Plus spray, which I've tried before, but I bought like the little travel size. So I'm really excited to have a full size Fix Plus. This is just gonna help smooth over my makeup. Obviously, I would usually do like my three step set routine. I might do like a two step set routine today. We'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna spray the face with this. Woo! That's a heavy duty mist. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a two-step set because I'm not really going anywhere. I don't need my makeup to last all night. So I'm gonna skip the all-nighter spray and go right into my Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. And I'm just gonna go ahead and set the areas that I don't want to break up or to get oily. So basically the T-zone. I personally get very oily in the T-zone. The rest of my face does not, like it stays pretty normal throughout the day, so I don't really worry about it. Plus, I don't really care if I get glow on the sides of my face. I care about the center. I'm going to brush through the brows and then let's set it with my favorite brow gel of all time. The Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This stuff is just the best. So I'm just going to brush through my brows with this. And I think I am done. This is it, you guys. This is the makeup that I feel so confident and pretty in. The tones are exactly what I love. I love sparkly eyes and a nude lip. All I would do now is add my favorite Glossier U perfume and I would truly feel complete. And also, if I wasn't filming, I would be listening to like my favorite songs, you know? That always really helps boost my confidence if I'm having an off day. Just blast your favorite music and get ready. I feel like for me, even if it's not a bad day, it really helps me to be creative when I'm listening to some fun music. So if you've never done that, which I'm sure you have, but if you haven't, definitely try that if you're feeling like you need a little confidence booster. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you like the look as much as I do. I hope you guys know how much I love you and how grateful I am for you. Seriously, thank you so much for coming back to my channel and for watching my videos. I seriously feel like you guys are my best friends and I have so much fun sitting down and filming and I hope you guys enjoy watching my videos because you guys have given me so much confidence on this platform and I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful for all of your amazing comments and for just all the conversations that I've had with you guys. I love you all so much and I wanna know what makeup you guys go to to feel the most confident, so comment that down below. I would love to know if it's a specific look or if there's a specific product that you just know will last and is reliable. I wanna know in the comments, so be sure to let me know, but I truly love to read through your comments and see your recommendations and just get to know you. Like I wanna know what makes you confident. It doesn't have to be makeup. If there's something else that makes you feel confident, leave that in the comments down below as well. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love how this look turned out. I feel confident and I'm ready to conquer my day. So I hope you guys also feel confident today. Just know I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.